Yo, yo, it's Ringulius here. And you're watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Swarm Grinder. Uh, this is a roguelike bullet hell type game. Recently just came out. Thought I'd check it out. Um, so we'll give her a go. Okay, so what's it? So character, bullet storm. Skill perk. Each consecutive bullet fired from the same magazine of the Gatling gun inflicts one more point of damage than the previous one. Overcharge 1, movement speed plus 10. Overcharge 2, Gatling gun, attack speed 25%. Base health 100, base movement speed times 1. Bullet Storm Mission Briefing. Survive for 5 minutes with Bullet Storm. Reward 15 Bio Shard. Okay, map, plateau. Plateau is a flat land with no obstacles except for borders surrounding the area. It is full of incubated alien cells that regenerate and evolve rapidly. Okay, so that indicates our enemy. Default mining expedition experience. So I need to uh, just play the game to unlock some of those. Gadget. Dash. When, when the gadget control button is pressed, the character dashes in the direction of movement. The dash gadget has a cooldown period of 15 seconds, which decreases for each open cell. That's the only thing we can select there. Okay, well, let's get it on. Movement, navigation, gadget control. On. Back. Okay. We have a drilling zone just ahead. Um... Reroll to Gatling Gun. Question mark, question mark. You have unlocked Torch. Passive stats effect. Amplifies burn effects. Burn is a stackable debuff that deals damage over time. Burn has maximum stack limit. Global burn chance, 8%. Yeah. I guess every time you drill, you get... Shit. Okay, so... Running into enemies causes damage, it seems. It, or do I have to clear the area? It seems. We have torch, gatling gun, or question mark. What's the question mark? Pacemaker. A skill with upgrades to health and fuel that makes survival easier. Fuel consumption minus 20%. Not entirely sure what fuel is. Kind of hard to tell. Okay, so I think. Okay, okay. So they come out of the pink pods where the enemies spawn. Scatter shot? Question mark, question. Let's get scatter shot. Shoots deadly projectiles in a spiral pattern. Active rapid fire. Fuel consumption, two seconds. Two per second. Fuel. The character uses fuel every second to operate and is affected by the number of active skills in use. When fuel is depleted, 
Health is consumed instead. When the fuel tank is overfilled, you will become overcharged, benefiting from the character's perks. So enemies seem to drop fuel. I'm finding it kind of hard to kind of like see when enemies spawn. But obviously it kind of seems like they spawn with uh, when you clear the purple detonator, lucky charm, or pacemaker. Let's go lucky charm. Increase crit damage and crit chance on enemy. It also adds new features to crit hits. Global crit chance plus 8%. Gatling gun crit chance to 8 and scatter shot to 8. Shit. Okay, so I gotta really pay attention to enemies. Shit, I missed some health. So I see health there. Yeah, the hearts don't heal very much. Oh shit, what just happened? Not entirely sure what just happened there. Okay, so we're getting some different enemy types. Okay, so I'm kind of getting healed here. I just got to really attention stop getting hit by these damn pacemaker gatling gun torch let's go gatling gun shit or i guess we're going pacemaker max health by 25 each time the character takes damage they deal five damage to surrounding enemies up to five. Increases field drop chance by 10%. I'm gonna go max health just because I'm like not so good right now. It looks like I found the edge of the map. Yeah, let's head towards. Just kind of gotta. Clear areas, but like what's that? What's that? One of three. One of three what? better gun upgrades. This is rough. Ouch. Torch, scatter shot, Gatling gun. I'm gonna go Gatling gun. Burst gun, ricochet, or mini gun. Either I go increased attack speed by 20% and decrease cool that seems really good. And decrease cooldown by 10%. Ricochet also seems pretty good. Bullets bounce off from one enemy to another, dealing reduced damage. I'm gonna go with the burst gun. So I'm not too sure if I have to like I sh it's better to just kind of clear an area and then kind of have to just take care of enemies like I'm doing here or if it's just run through. Okay. 
Well, we'll find out. Rank two, survive five minutes with Bullet Storm. Enemies definitely got bigger here. Oops. New enemy type. Let's try and clear that area. Yeah, I don't know how fast I'm really supposed to be moving through these areas. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Let's go scatter shot. The homing bullets, seek power of bullets by three. Seeking powers of bullets times three. Seeking power one to three. Spam, decreases cooldown by negative 20%. Afterburst shot. Enables afterburst. Fires six more projectiles when magazine empties. Afterburst bullets deal more damage. These are actually pretty decent. I'm gonna go with the seeking power by three. Hopefully that just means our guns hit more often. I'm trying to get some heals here, jeez. Some enemies explode. Is that what those brain things are? Okay, so I just died. Ranked up, Roared 15 Bioshorbs. Went from rank one to two. Kills, 472. Battling gun killed 472. The torch killed 14. Okay, so Gatling gun is pretty decent. Okay. We're gonna go back to the lobby. Workshop. So I have 23 of these per pink gems. So, project, chariot, temple, windmill, loot. The most popular upgrades that everyone must have. A complete price performance product. Don't miss it. What is it? Windmill. Upgrades that strengthen the basic equipment in vehicles. Adjust the fuel and trigger controls as you want. Well, I guess we'll just start with Chariot, because that's the first one. Increases global damage by 20%. Increases maximum health by 15%. Increases movement speed by 5%. Does it cost 10 every time, or does that up? Increases maximum trigger range by 10%. Maximum fuel by 10%. Decreases fuel consumption by 5. Well, I guess we'll just give the chariot a go. So I got one into chariot that costs 10. So if I increase global damage by 20%. So you spend, okay. So I have 13 again, so I can spend another 10. And then I can spend another point. I'm gonna go movement speed by 5%. We were definitely like slow near the end there. Okay, back. Let's go again. So same character, same map. I can't increase difficulty yet. 
So Bolt Storm mission briefing. Defeat 3,000 enemies with Bolt Storm in a single run. Unlocks weapon item slot on Bullet Storm. Start the engine. Detect a drilling field in the vicinity. I gotta get used to just like really paying attention to like where the enemies are. Um, we're gonna go with this question mark. Railgun. Active. Rapid fire. Shoots bullets that pierce through enemies dealing heavy damage. That's good. Two per second. Fuel consumption. Ooh, that's a lot of fuel. Damage station. What is this? running out without fuel. Magnets will fail. Mecha will fall apart slowly. Gatling gun, scatter shot. So we're going to go Gatling gun because we know that's good. Mini gun, magnet size, ricochet, or burst gun fire. I'm going to go burst gun again. It seemed to do fairly well. You gotta keep your fuel consumption. So that incentivizes you to keep attacking enemies. Detonator, right, Gatling. I'm gonna go Gatling gun again. Burst gun two, attack speed by 20%, cooldown negative 10. I'm kind of, I want to go ricochet. Adrenaline, each missing health increases Gatling gun damage. I'm going to go ricochet, bounces off enemies. Ricochet count one, so it just bounces off one enemy. It does less damage once it bounces. I'm assuming obviously as you upgrade that, you'll bounce off more enemies. Feather blade. Whoa, 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 whoa. Feather blades or cleaver? Let's go cleaver. Active blades. Swings blade. Damages enemies around character. Fuel consumption two. Has a decent range. Still don't know what this is, but we'll collect it. Cooldown station. Not entirely sure what that, like, what? The... Arsenal, pacemaker, or railgun? Let's go railgun. Attack speed, exploding bullets, sniper rifle. I'm gonna go attack speed by 50%. Wish I knew what these towers actually did. I'm wondering if it's like if you're standing in them, you get that buff. That's probably what it is. Okay, so we're at three and a half minutes. Let's 
Scattershot, Railgun, Torch. Let's go Railgun. Attack speed and damage by 50%. Or increase Pierce count. Decrease cooldown by negative 15 and magazine size by 33. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go attack speed again. To get 50% speed and damage. Just trying to kind of refuel here. The fuel's running out pretty quickly. So might not always be best to go with guns. I wonder if there's must be buffs that uh, help me with energy consumption or fuel consumption. Oh, shit, that was an accident. So luck increases crit damage, whatever. Did not mean to do that, but it's fine. Coming wave, 30 seconds. Try to clear this area. Yeah, I definitely. Feather blades, railgun, or cleaver. I'm gonna go railgun again. Increases global attack speed by 25%. Field born fury. Decrease. First and last bullets damage by 2% for each missing fuel. Oh, increases. Oh, sorry. I thought that said decreases. Decreases cooldown. Honestly, I'm just going to go attack speed again. Global attack speed by 25%. I don't think that really helps us with our fuel consumption. This is the. Uh, it's pretty tough, I must say. Trying to like balance clearing areas, because clearing areas means getting enemies. Okay, here we go. Dropping. What do we got? Arsenal, cleaver, detonator. I'm gonna go cleaver. Helicopter blades decreases cooldown by 15. Area increases area by 10. Depleted strike first count of cleaver damage has 3% cleaver area and 3% cleaver damage for each missing fuel. I don't know what first count. I'm just gonna go increases area by 10%. It's the most straightforward. This a pink one. Big one is incoming. Torch. Lace maker. Lucky torch. Shit. Um. We're gonna go pacemaker. Upgrades health and fuel. Makes survival easier. Fuel consumption minus twenty percent. That'll help a lot. Is that what this is? It's...
trying to like clear it, a path is actually really tough. You essentially create your own swarm. Okay, boss is almost done. Pacemaker, cleaver. I'm gonna go pacemaker again. So max health 25, every kill heals character by point one. Retaliate. Each time character takes damage, they deal five damage to surrounding enemies up to five. Everything costs fuel. It's crazy. Um, I'm gonna go heal on kill. Point one. It's not very much, but. Okay, so I think I killed the boss. So pacemaker railgun. I'm gonna go pacemaker again. Max fuel. Max health. I'm gonna go max fuel 20%. Oh, you get both of them. Okay, so killing a boss gives you two upgrades. The railgun. Magazine size one increases magazine size by 50% and decreases pierce count by two. Don't like that. So there's some negatives with some upgrades. I'm gonna go cooldown, decrease cooldown by 15, magazine size by 33. Like it's pretty crap, but. To be fair, they all weren't very good, so. So I wonder if there's like a pickup radius. Um, type one. What do we got? Cleaver, Gatling Gun, and Pacemaker. I'm gonna go Pacemaker again. Efficient engines. Each current fuel decreases global cooldown by negative 0.1. Each current fuel decreases global cooldown. Or max fuel up by 30%. Heal on kill by 1.1. I'm gonna go max fuel too, up by 30%. Really don't understand what these are. It does seem like we probably get that buff. So cooldown station, 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5 cooldown. Gatling gun, railgun, cleaver. Let's go railgun, or Gatling gun, sorry. First gun, attack speed. Increases by 20% and decreases cooldown by negative 10%. So is that actually a negative? Ricochet, Gatling gun, explode. Explosion chance increases by 1%. I'm gonna go burst gun too. Next wave in 30 seconds. We're at the 10 minute mark gonna back away a little bit here give myself some space six five four three two one so survive ten minutes Jeez. 
really gotta avoid these laser things. Okay, let's clear this. Jeez! Ah, oh, that's harsh. Railgun, cleaver, I'm gonna go railgun. Or not. So ten and a half minutes, eh? It's tough. That's tough. Okay, so we got railgun. 69 damage. Railgun. 62. So the railgun is good and the gatling gun is good. Four available upgrades, three new. Okay, so we'll go back to lobby. Ooh. So we'll go workshop again. Keep on keeping on with the upgrades. So we'll just go one more into the chariot. Obviously, that's uh, we'll do the last one here. Max health. So we'll unlock windmill. So that went up to 25 now instead of 20. So max trigger range, max fuel by 10, fuel consumption by negative five. I'm gonna go fuel, fuel consumption negative five percent. Okay. Still on mission two, so we didn't end up killing 3,000 enemies. Shit. Okay, well, I'll try this again. Torch, feather blades, or detonator. Well, let's try feather blades. Active blade shoots blades at nearby enemies. Railgun, Lucky Charm, or Detonator. Let's go Railgun. Detonator, Pacemaker, Railgun. Let's go Pacemaker. Fuel consumption, negative 20%. It's pretty big. Torch, Lucky Charm, or Cleaver. I'm gonna go Lucky Charm. Damage Station, Global Damage times two. Pacemaker, feathers, or Gatling gun. We're gonna go Gatling gun. Uh, we're gonna go mini gun. Increase magazine size by fifty percent. Pacemaker, Gatling Gun, or Railgun. We're going to go Gatling Gun again. Damage increases by 5% every shot. Resets with cast. Minigun 2. We're going to go with that.
So when you get hit, kind of stop moving for a second there. Um, I'm gonna go railgun. Chasing bullets or magazine size? Increases magazine size by 50%, decreases pierce count. I'm gonna go chasing bullets again, so increases seeking power by three. It's not always easy to avoid enemies, especially when you're trying to clear a path. Okay, so railgun, I'm gonna go railgun. I'm gonna go sniper rifle, increase pierce count by 25%, so it goes up to 10. You go through 10 enemies, I'm assuming is what that means. Pacemaker. I'm probably gonna go pacemaker. Effective engines. Fuel decreases global cooldown by negative one percent. Point one percent. Seconds for a swarm. Okay, so we got a pink upgrade. We're gonna go rattling gun, rail gun, sorry. Fuel balloon fury. We're gonna go in sniper rifle, increase pierce, pierce count by two. We have a boss. Man, you get swarmed and it's just super punishing. Gun, Gatling Gun, or Blades. We're gonna go Gatling Gun. Mini Gun 3 increases magazine size by 100%, also increases firing angle by 25 and range by 50. Gatling Gun Angle. Not entirely sure what the angle means. It's a heal. There we go. Kind of just maybe trying to move in like circular movements here. Just try to clear areas and then move back a bit. Clear the enemies, move forward, clear an area, move back a bit. Kind of seems to be working a little bit here. 
The boss is just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of random. I'm just kind of eat away at him as they go. Lucky Charms, Gatling Gun, Feathers. Let's go Gatling Gun again. Here you go, Burst Gun 1. I'm not entirely sure what those are. Okay, so Lucky Charm. Rapid fire skills, crit chance, blades, overall crit damage. We're gonna go crit damage by 40%. Railgun. We go chasing bolts too, so increasing duration. Do some of these upgrades mean some different things? That one's gold, that one's silver, that one's bronze. Increases global pure scout by two. That's not something I really was paying attention to, but now I see it. So I see these different, yeah. So this is gold that's bronze or silver that's bronze. I'm gonna go with gold, I guess, the silver rifle, but I'm, I don't know if that's just because it's tier three. Uh, that's something I'll have to try and pay attention to, I guess. Definitely clearing enemies a lot easier right now. Gatling gun or rail gun? I'm gonna go rail gun. Magazine size, cooldown, or chasing bullets too. So it decreases pierce count, but it upgrades the magazine size. That must be its tier color. Okay. We've got chasing bullets too. Lose a bit of speed, but ups our duration by 25%. Okay. Another hammer thing right there. Okay, so I have two hammers now. Whatever the hell that means. Okay, so these eggs and stuff respawn because they're definitely covering areas that have already cleared. Laser beams are rough. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna go Gatling gun. If I even make it to the Gatling gun. Yep, no, I'm dead. Ten minute mark is rough. Go rail gun. 
was okay, but the Gatling gun I finally got pretty high up there. Huh. Back to lobby. And 19, so I can't even unlock anything right now, so. Okay, we'll just try again. Damn, I really need to figure out how to uh, stop. If I get too tempted on the upgrades, maybe I just need to calm down and just take my time on getting upgrades. Railgun, cleaver, gatling gun. You go railgun. Again, again. We're gonna go magazine size. Just gonna try and get these upgrades as quickly as possible. Peacemaker, pacemaker. Fuel consumption minus 20%. Detonator, I've never gone with detonator. Let's go detonator. Passive explosion. Increases proficiently with explosions. Okay, well that makes sense. 3% explosion chance. Cleaver, torch. Damn, that sucks. I re-roll. Detonator, Lucky Charm, Arsenal. Go oh, Arsenal. An all-arounder passive skill that gives various buffs. Active skill damage plus 20%. Gatling gun damage to 14. Railgun damage to 42. More damage is always good. Detonator, pacemaker, arsenal. Let's go arsenal again. Increases global count by one. Number of projectiles fired at once by skills. Let's go that. Gatling gun. Go minigun. Magazine size by 50. Oh, I might have not selected that. Gun, detonator or pacemaker. Let's go railgun. We go magazine size two. Gatling gun. Minigun two. Put the other hammer. Oh, uh, pacemaker. We go max health one.
Didn't even get to five minutes. I was trying to be a little too aggressive there. I was getting a little impatient. Um, two available new upgrades. Go back to the lobby then. Twenty-five. So the loot is twenty. Knockback distance, explosive damage, or burn chance. Let's get the loot. And go knockback. At twenty thirty-five. I don't know if that it's for everything. Knocked at back distance by all skills by thirty-five percent. I don't know if that means I like need something that does knock back damage. I don't think I've seen something that does knock back damage. Torch, Lucky Charm, Pacemaker. I'm gonna go for Pacemaker. Minus 20% cooldown. Gonna go railgun again. Go railgun again. Gonna go sniper rifle, increase pierce by 25%. Pacemaker again. Uh, we will go max fuel by 21%. We go arsenal. All active skill damage plus 20%. Magazine side, or no, we're gonna go attack speed plus 50%. Battling gun, we're gonna go burst gun one. Increases attack speed, it decreases cooldown by 10%. gun for the Gatling gun. I'm not entirely sure the purpose of the hammers yet. I have not yet got all three. So, here is what that actually does. Man. Here we go, pacemaker. Or not.
Max health one, 25% max health. Maker. I'm gonna go efficient. Uh, max fuel two. Max fuel up by thirty percent. Okay, we're at five minutes. Stop moving, it like it slows you down really, really badly. Okay, I need some upgrades here. Pacemaker, first gun. I'm gonna go pacemaker. Max field three, max field by 50%. We'll try to head towards the other hammer, the last hammer. Maybe we'll see what that does. If I can get there without dying. Okay, we killed the boss. Uh, Gatling gun, first gun three, global cooldown by 10%. And we'll go over to rail gun. Go sniper rifle two, increases pierce count by two. We'll try and get the, uh, the hammer, the last hammer if I can. I'm gonna go Gatlin gun there. Here we are gonna go minigun, magazine size by what these things that are like circling around me do. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we got the third hammer. What does that do? What's that? Gatling gun. Minigun 2 increases damage 5% for every shot. Recast on scab. Uh, Gatling gun Minigun 3 increases magazine size by 100%. Also increases firing angle by 25 and range by 50. Okay, so the three hammers give you two upgrades for free.
Gatling gun, torch, or first. We're gonna go Gatling gun. What is this? Brave Soldier. Increase Gatling gun's damage by 1.5 and attack speed by 1.5 while below 50% health. Ricochet, ricochet boost. Increase global ricochet count by two times. Overheat. Gatling gun shoots us twice with 40% angle. Local firing at goal times two. Local target count plus one. Gatling gun cooldown to 1.65. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. Shoots twice with 40% angle. Here we go, ricochet boost. That just makes the most sense to me. I know what that means. We'll go ricochet boost. So I got a special talent upgrade. chance by Arsenal. Giant Slayer. Increases damage for elite enemies. Global peers. Increase global count by one. Global hit interval. Decreases global hit interval by 10%. We're going to go global peers for the railgun, I guess. Okay, 11 minutes. Arsenal Gatling. We're gonna go Arsenal again. We're gonna go global count by one. Just increases uh, projectile count by one.
Definitely don't manage, uh, mine the uh, damage stations here. Increase our global damage by two percent, or by like by, by times two, so doubles our everything damage. Man, I really don't understand scorpions. These scorpion things. They like circle around. I don't know if they like shoot. If they shoot projectiles at me. I'm not entirely sure. They just swarm around you, and it's weird. Lucky Charm, I'm gonna go Gatling Gun when I can get to it. You're gonna go Adrenaline? I'm gonna go ricochet. Balance bo uh, bullets bounce more than one enemy to another, so that increased to two because we already had the one. So I think that'll help a lot. Okay, let's go to this guy up here. Global count. For each count, the cooldown of skill is decreased by negative 2%. Rank 3. Defeat 3,000 enemies. I believe the, uh, like the bouncing bullets really, really helped us a lot there. I'm gonna go Gatling Gun. Okay, so we have Ricochet for every Ricochet. Gatling has an explosion chance increased by 1%. Okay, we got another one down here. Almost at 15 minutes. Pacemaker, Arsenal, let's go Pacemaker. Max health 2, increase maximum health by 25%. Yeah, 
Enemies are definitely tighter and tighter packed. possible. I'm gonna go Gatling Gun. Ricochet increases ricochet count by one. I think we fully maxed out the Gatling Gun. shows that we upgraded our Gatling gun. Global count three, so increases global count by one. Projectile for every gun we got. causes those explosions. Butcher. Kill 10,000 enemies. Nice. Uh, we are going to go Pacemaker. Max health 3. Max maximum health by 30%. We have 200 health now. Clear the last field. Oh, went lucky charm by accident. Uh, we're gonna go lucky shot, rapid fire skills, crit chance chance by 10%. What's this? There's like a uh, black arrow. Nearing 20, 20 minutes. Don't want to die stupidly here. Swarm heading your way. Prepare. 30 seconds. Uh, might want to find a tower if I can. I don't know if that's even going to be an option here. Yeah. Here we go. Before continuing, please prepare all the bullets you have. Twenty minutes. Holy shit. Here we go. Not too bad, it's not too bad. Holy crap. Okay, it's bad. It's bad. Damn. This is rough. I don't think I'm gonna make it here. Yeah, I'm dead. 20 minutes in. That was rough. Rough. You unlocked Butcher. Rank up. Unlocks weapon item slot on Bullet Storm. Fully upgraded the Gatling gun. There's 439,000 damage. So in reality, I only had two guns there. 
So I had the rail gun and then and the and the Gatling gun. I barely upgraded the rail gun. And we made it furthest we've ever made it. So we're like Singling a weapon isn't the end of the world. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. Take a look at workshop. We have 57 gems. Go windmill. We're gonna go another 5% to fuel consumption. I'm gonna go windmill again. We can only do four upgrades from Windmill. Increases maximum of trigger range. I'm gonna go max fuel by 10%. And you can you can rearrange. Okay. Interesting. So now there's a new character, Butcher. Skill perk. The tip of the cleaver deals double, double the usual damage to enemies. Overcharge 1, cleaver area 20%. Overcharge 2, global damage 20%. Base health 80, movement speed by 1.1. Now that I kind of understand, so what's this? So each consecutive bullet fired from the same magazine on the Gatling gun inflicts one more point of damage than the previous one. Movement speed by 10%, Gatling gun attack speed by 25%. Base health 100. So he does more melee. Cleaver area 20%, global damage by 20. Dip the cleaver deals double the usual damage. So he does a, does a cleaver damage. Uh, I'm gonna try him out just for trying. Damn. I wonder how you beat a, uh, a round. I'm wondering if it's the 20 minute mark and then you just need to clear it from the 20 minute. Okay, um, let's go let's try this with Butcher. So he does melee. It's a spinning double blade. Very slowly. Cleaver. I'm gonna go with the question mark. Homing missiles. Active. Launcher. Fires a barrage of missiles targeting random enemies in range, dealing damage on impact. Okay. Also, very slow. Question mark again. Vortex blade. Active blades. Increases. Unleashes whirling blades towards the closest enemy. The blades stay at the location for a while, doing damage in the area at regular intervals. Okay. Detonator Arsenal Luck Charm. We have explosions. Let's go Detonator. Passive Explosive increases proficiency with explosives. Active Explosive Chance plus 3%. I don't know if that actually helped. Vortex Blade, Arsenal, question mark. Let's go question mark again. Mortar. Active launcher explosive. Uh, fires mortar shells at random enemies in range. The shells explode on impact, dealing damage in the area. So that'll definitely be helped by my explosive upgrades there. Go 
Reaver. For each four minutes spent after taking this upgrade, count increases by 1%, up to two. So after eight minutes, I have three. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Number of projectiles fired at once. I'm gonna go blades damage just by 30%. That's more understandable. I kinda understand what that means. don't like the blades, to be perfectly honest. I don't like having to be in range. We're going to switch back to Bullet Storm and continue on with Bullet Storm. I would really like to see if I can clear a stage here. We're going to go Railgun. Or Ga Gatlin Gun, sorry. We will go ricochet. There you go, railgun. Burst fire gun. For more burst damage, increases the uh, rate of fire, I believe. Or... I'm gonna go rail gun. Go attack speed up by 50%. Pacemaker. Heal by 20%. Gatling gun again is where I'm going. We're gonna go ricochet two. Gatling gun explosion chance by 1%. I'm gonna go scatter shot. We're just gonna try and upgrade uh, the Gatling gun again to max. Anytime we see a Gatling gun increase, just try to make sure I pick that upgrade. Gun. There you go, ricochet three, ricochet count plus one. Pick up the hammer. I'm 
gonna go with Lucky Charm. No, I'm gonna reroll. Ah, uh, Lucky Charm. I'm gonna go Lucky Charm. Entirely sure what that signifies. I think there's one time where I got four different options. I wonder if that's all that means. I'm gonna go Gatling gun here. We're gonna go burst fire two. Increase attack speed by 20%, decrease cooldown by negative 10%. Arsenal or pacemaker, sorry. We will go with fuel decreases global cooldown by negative one percent, uh, point one percent, sorry. Five minutes in. Real tough to start chipping away at these walls. What do we got? I'm gonna go Gatling gun again. Go burst gun, burst gun three. Global cooldown by a negative 10%. to this upgrade here. Man. You can uh, get taken down pretty fastly if you get caught in a swarm. You gotta really have patience. Uh, there you go, Railgun. We will go attack speed 2, increases attack speed by 50% and damage by 50%. That's pretty massive. Okay, we killed the boss. Got pacemaker. We go efficient engines 2, fuel consumption by negative 10%, decreases fuel consumption. And there's a railgun. Attack speed 3, increases global attack speed by 50, 25%. That's massive. Nice. Um, I should head towards the hammer here. I'm gonna head to the hammer after this upgrade. Scatter shot. We will go increase rapid fire skills magazine size by 25%. That's all my guns. So we're going to go with that. Now we're heading towards the uh, hammer. Let's not take stupid damage. 
was getting a little too impatient there and paid for it. Really gotta have patience in clearing areas. gun okay so we got ricochet boost we did last time Gatling gun shoots twice with 40% angle see it's global ricochet count by two so it's like man that's really good I'm gonna try overheat this time Shoots twice with 40% angle, local firing angle times two, local target count times one, or plus one. Gatling gun cooldown takes longer. Okay, so that's, it does mean it shoots two bullets. Okay. Head towards the other hammer, or Sniper Rifle 1 increases pierce damage by 25%. We'll make our way to the other hammer. Or actually, we'll go to this upgrade first. We'll go Railgun when we have the chance. Sniper Rifle 2 increases Pierce Count by 2. Just gotta keep moving away from the guys with the frickin' Lines. Gun. Sniper rifle three incre increases global pierce count by two. It's huge. That's sell for this upgrade. Damage tower is really freaking good. Oh, didn't mean to go pacemaker, but we'll do that. So fuel consumption down by negative 10%.
scatter shot. Rapid fire skills magazine size by 25% again. That seems just seems really good. some patience in this game something I do not have a whole lot of um, let's go is that railgun or no Gatling gun let's go Gatling gun to our last upgrade we're gonna go minigun magazine size yeah magazine size up by 50% strong at this point now. I like it. I like it. I'm going to go scatter shot. Once again, we're going to go RF uh, rapid fire magazine size up by rapid fire skills magazine size by 50%. Not bad. That's all of our guns. Head to the other hammer, the last hammer. Got him. Okay, so we got railgun, two railgun upgrades. Ooh, okay, what is this? Spitting bullets. Railgun bullets spit into th split into three or four one time when they hit an enemy. After splitting, bullets deal less 25% uh, less damage. Charged bullets. Every railgun bullet consumes 20 fuel to deal 150 more non-scalable damage. Does not work when fuel bar is empty. Immortal bullets. Increases global pierce by 4%. Or four times four decreases global damage by point zero or point five. I'm gonna go with splitting bullets. Okay. Our last upgrade for a railgun. I'm gonna go cooldown one. Decreases cooldown by negative 15 and magazine size by negative 33. We already have like a bunch of increases to our mag size, so it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and the railgun here. Do cooldown, negative 15 and mag size by negative 33. I like the cooldown upgrade. That kind of just made me feel like uh, I do less here. Clear the last field. I'm gonna go railgun. Cooldown three degrees. Global cooldown by negative 15%. I'm gonna head towards this black triangle. I don't know what it is. Not 
to uh, take dumb damage. We just gotta make our way there. We're only at 15, 16 minutes here, so last time this happened, we were already at 20, so I don't know if this means that we're, we cleared the stage or whatever this means. We'll find out if we make it there. Damn. You're about to reach the hearth. Find out what that means. Almost there. Okay, what is this? A sector's hearth, a huge seed for a huge. I, I don't know what that meant. Is that a boss? Looks like a boss. Damn. Okay, we got about halfway down. Stay out of that. Okay, we killed the boss. This one works. Win the game. Win the game. Awesome. So we did 420 or four, yeah, 420,000 with a Gatling gun, rail gun to 226, fully upgraded. So definitely the uh, Gatling gun is uh, the way to go. We got a time bonus of 17. Mission completed times 20%. Not bad, okay. Go back to the lobby. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So now we have 52. Okay, well, we'll do one more upgrade on the windmill. We'll go max fuel by another 10%, and there we go. I think that's as much as we can do for this. Okay. Well, I think that was a good start. Um, I seems like a pretty good game here. I'm enjoying. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm getting better as uh, the more I do it, kind of understanding the mechanics of the game a little more. Cool. We finally killed. Uh, cleared the stage. Pretty good. So, uh, if you like what you see, uh, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help me a lot uh, to grow my channel. Uh, until next time. Peace.